Happy Monday everyone starting out the week with some pretty muggy conditions out there, especially on the west side of the Cascades, some of the valleys. Now if you're out on the coast, we've got a decent amount of rainfall and likely to continue that over the next couple of days, really picking things up later Tuesday into Wednesday and through a good part of Wednesday, possibly into Thursday. That's right. We've got rain in the forecast, setting up a bit of an atmospheric river. You may have heard that term a few times over the last few days. Well, you're going to hear it some more because we've got a lot of rain on the way now, mainly for the Coast. So a little further inland, muggy, breezy and cloudy with that rain mainly staying on the coast, especially areas of Curry County, the Brookings area in particular. Decent amount of rainfall through today and the next few days, eventually adding up possibility of three to five more inches of rainfall as we get towards the middle of the week. A few showers still possible as we get into Tuesday as we head through the day, but most of the shower activity that's going to hold off until about Wednesday, especially Wednesday afternoon and evening, spreading further inland right up against the Cascades into some areas in Northern California in particular the Mount Shasta area. A lot of the flow behind this next system, it's from the south to the north. So we'll also see some high winds continue. And those winds, especially today, actually kept things a little drier for the Rogue Valley. High snow levels as we go over the next few days, it is a warmer system. A lot of this energy coming from all the way towards Hawaii. But as we get to about Thursday, Friday, we'll start to cool things down. Those snow levels will drop as well. But at the same time, we're seeing less potential of precipitation towards the latter half of the week. For tonight for the coast, though, temperatures may in the 40s and 50s back to the 50s and almost 60s tomorrow afternoon. Plenty of rain and that rain tomorrow could be heavy at times with some fairly high winds up to 30, potentially 40, 45 mile per hour gusts possible, especially around the Port Orford and Gold Beach area for the West Valleys. Mostly cloudy tonight. Scattered showers still possible through tonight and tomorrow. Most areas likely staying dry, but we have more potential for Roseburg and Grants Pass, a little less potential for Ashland and Wairika with mostly cloudy skies tomorrow. Chance of showers continuing and some higher winds, especially in those north south facing valleys like the Rogue Valley and the Shasta Valley and east of the Cascades likely staying dry until about Wednesday, but we'll throw in a slight chance of showers and it is mainly rain showers, just a little bit too warm for more widespread snow unless you're way up in the mountains themselves. Now, as we go over the next few days, we will see a cold front roll on through. That's on Wednesday, so we'll cool down those high temperatures from 65 degrees on Tuesday. We even got into the 70s today on Monday, cooler and then cloudier and then more potential of rainfall, especially Wednesday into Thursday. Just a chance on Friday and just a slight chance on Saturday before we start to dry things out by the weekend. For the Klamath Basin, mostly just a few chances of showers and it is mainly rain. But as we get into Thursday and Friday, start to cool things down, we'll have rain and a chance of snow. And if it continues into Friday morning, a slight chance of some snow there as well, likely not accumulating too much. It's mainly going to be rain and some higher winds throughout our area. Northern California showers likely Wednesday and Thursday, then a chance of rain and snow on Friday and out on the coast is just rain and plenty of it, especially in southern Curry County, northern Del Norte County, with a chance of showers continuing possibly into the weekend before another chance starts to brew up towards about the beginning of next week.